please press the buttons of both subscribe and like, and set the notification. The paper I am going to introduce today is this. The title is Bug Juice, Harvesting Electricity with Microorganisms. And I am a student Sung Wu Lee, Department of Environmental and Energy Engineering, Chanam National University. I present this thesis to you today. A fuel cell converts chemical energy into electrical energy, without the inefficiencies that arise from combusting fuel to produce electricity. In microbial fuel cells the fuel source is generally microbially degradable organic matter. These organic fuel sources cannot be used in currently conceived abiotic fuel cells because, unlike hydrogen, these fuels are not electrochemically active. However, microorganisms can catalyze the release of electrons from organic matter and transfer them to various electron carriers that are electrochemically active. It is generally regarded that electricity production in microbial cultures was first observed over 90 years ago by Potter. Potter's studies embodied most of the principles of modern-day microbial fuel cells. The microbial fuel cell consists of an anode, which accepts electrons from the microbial culture, and a cathode, which transfers electrons to an electron acceptor. Typically oxygen for most perceived practical applications. The anode compartment is typically maintained under anoxic conditions, whereas the cathode can be suspended in aerobic solutions or exposed to air. Electrons flow from the anode to the cathode through an external electrical connection that typically includes a resistor, a battery to be charged, or some other electrical device. The anode and cathode are often separated by a semi-permeable membrane that restricts oxygen diffusion from the cathode chamber to the anode chamber. While allowing protons that are released from organic matter metabolism, or oxidation of reduced metabolic products, to move from the anode to the cathode. At the cathode, electrons, protons and oxygen combine to form water. Separating the microorganisms from the source of oxygen in a microbial fuel cell intercepts the flow of electrons to oxygen that microorganisms would catalyze if oxygen were available. Its generalized pathway for the anaerobic oxidation of organic matter to carbon dioxide with ferric oxide serving as an electron acceptor in temperate, freshwater and sedimentary environments. The process is mediated by a consortium of fermentative microorganisms and geobacter species. The key difference in microbial electricity production versus natural biogeochemical processes, previously described, ferric oxide reduction, is that the electrons are transferred to an electrode rather than a natural electron acceptor. The following is examples of microbial fuel cells producing electricity through different mechanisms of electron transfer to the anode. It's an indirect microbial fuel cell. A fermentative microorganism converts glucose to an end product, hydrogen, which can abiotically react with the anode to produce electrons and protons. This process only partially recovers the electrons available in the organic fuel as electricity and results in the accumulation of organic products in the anode chamber. It's a mediator-driven microbial fuel cell. An electron shuttling mediator accepts electrons from reduced cell constituents and abiotically transfers the electrons to the anode. The reoxidized mediator can then undergo repeated cycles of reduction and oxidation. In most instances, the cells that have been used in such fuel cells only incompletely oxidize their organic fuels as shown. It's the oxidation of glucose to carbon dioxide with direct electron transfer to the electrode surface. Glucose is taken into the cell and oxidized to carbon dioxide by typical central metabolic pathways, such as the tricarboxylic acid cycle. Electrons derived from glucose oxidation are transferred across the inner membrane, periplasm, and outer membrane through electron transport proteins, such as C-type cytochromes. In this example, the system is illustrated with an air cathode rather than a cathode submerged in water. It's a two-chambered microbial fuel cell. 
This system is not optimized for maximum power production but is convenient for microbiological studies. It's a schematic of a sediment microbial fuel cell. Organisms in the family Geobacteraceae can oxidize acetate and other fermentation products and transfer the electrons to graphite electrodes in the sediment. These electrons flow to the cathode in the overlying aerobic water where they react with oxygen. The picture on the right is an actual sediment fuel cell before deployment. It's a mechanism for extracellular electron transfer by Geobacter sulfuridusins. It's a transmission electron micrograph showing the association of ferric oxide with pillin expressed by Geobacter sulfuridusins. The inset shows pili that are intertwined with ferric oxides. The picture on the right is potential route for electron transfer to ferric oxides by Geobacter sulfuridusins. This model is based on a previous model and subsequent findings. MACA, PPCA, OMCB, OMC and OMCS are C-type cytochromes which genetic studies have indicated are required for optimal ferric oxid reduction. The proposed electron flow between the cytochromes is based on their reported location within the bacterial cell. It is important to note that the genome of G. sulfuridusins contains genes that encode approximately 100 C-type cytochromes, some of which might also participate in this electron transfer process. The field is in its infancy, but the discovery of pure cultures that can serve as models for complete oxidation of organic compounds with direct electron transfer to electrodes provides an important tool for understanding the ecology and physiology of fuel cells that can harvest energy from complex wastes. Thank you very much.